what's happening everyone welcome to our youtube channel don't forget to check out our website infixitonline.com once you're there you can click on this tutorial request link fill out the form here give us all the information about the software title that you want to learn more about or the hardware task whether it's learning a new application installing a new hard drive or hooking up your home network diagnosing the virus whatever the problem is you can fill out this form and get back to us and we'll help you out as best we can or you can send us a message on YouTube and we'll get back to you also but going to our website is the fastest way to get a response from us alright so now that we took care of that let's get into this current tutorial or how to video okay in this tutorial right, we're going to show you how to set up an internet connection on your home base setup whether you're using DSL or cable, but this is mostly, for the most part, about this is mostly about broadband internet. All right, um, it's probably going to be broken down in one or two parts. This part I'm just going to be showing you mostly of the hardware you're going to be dealing with, and maybe part two we'll go more in depth in the software. All right, all right. So what we have here, right here, this is called a modem. Now this is actually from Verizon. This is back when I was using Verizon. And um your ISP will give you what's called the modem. Alright? And this is how your modem gonna look is in the front. It's for right. They're pretty much all the same, but what we're more concerned about is what we see here in the back. Alright? I'm sorry, what you have here, this is if you have DSL, you're gonna have here, this is your internet port. Basically, this is where you're gonna um plug in your phone line from. So if you have DSL, remember you're still working off a phone line. So what you'll do is you'll plug your phone line in here. Right? That's the reset button. You can always restore to your um restore the modem till it's factory defaults by pressing that button there. Then you will have here what is called the Ethernet port. Now this port here is what you will most of the time plug into your router which would in turn allow multiple computers to get hooked up to the internet now let me just go in a little in debt here is they have built-in routers inside of their modems that's why you see multiple ports here so in turn you can hook up four computers to this uh, router here now, this is a modem slash router right? and it also is wireless the antenna ain't hooked up here but it's already built in wireless so if you have Verizon and you were comfortable with just hooking up four wired computers and uh, multiple wireless uh, computers you wouldn't have to worry about actually getting an external router now some people get external routers even though they have um, uh, modem slash routers from their ISP for numerous reasons they might want to um, hook up more computers wired they might want to get more in debt in what they can do because the ISP is only going to allow you to do but so much alright and this is of course your on and off switch like I said, that's where you hook your antenna up at, and this is where you will plug in your AC adapter. All right. So if this was a regular uh, modem that didn't have a router built in, it would have this Ethernet port here. It would just be one port instead of multiple ports. All right. And if it was cable, of course you would have your coaxial cable, where you hook up your um your cable line. That's how you you know you get your um line in there to get your internet. As in the DSL would be your phone line, and the cable would be the coaxial. And then on cable also, you know they have telephone lines. So if you have the three-in-one package, you will see one of these ports also, or maybe even two. All right, but for the most part, you will have this one that says Ethernet one, or maybe WAN on some of the older ones, WAN. And you would take your Ethernet cable, Ethernet cable here. So you would take your Ethernet cable and you will plug it into that one port there. All right, and that will be your first step. Now next we're going to talk about put that down a router. This here is a Linksys router. Like I said, most routers look the same. It almost looks just like your modem would also. What we're more concerned about is the back of it. This is a wireless antenna, so this is a wireless router. Then you have wireless bridge. You have numerous names for them. All right, but now we're going to show the back of your router and what you can expect. Here you also see a reset button here right of course the antenna some come with multiple antennas the new wireless in routers come with three or more antennas and you have 
this internet port right here we'll get into that more in that and then you see you have four ports for regular computers now this is how if you had your network set up you'll plug each wired computer remember wireless you don't need no wire so the ones you want to hook up through a wire you will hook up through these ports here and it allows you to four and you can piggyback on all routers like you can hook another router up to this and that gives you more ports so you can hook a switch up to this and that will give you more ports we'll get into that in further uh, tutorials alright and here you see you have your AC port also alright so now that's for the for the most part the hardware part of it but what I'll show you now is the um, actual hardware setup alright so you know you had your modem even though we know this is a remember this is a router modem we're gonna act today if it was just a modem a straight modem it, you know it didn't have a router built in so we would have this um, one side of the ethernet cable plugged into the ethernet port the first ethernet port or the WAN or the internet port whatever it's called but you they will have it outlined to know that this is the um, port that you you know you will hook your computer up to alright your main computer because the way a lot of these companies figure is they only want you to be able to hook up one computer at a time like for instance if the cable companies in New York City I'm in New York City we have uh, um, Optimum Online and uh, Roadrunner they only have one port there so in other words they intend on you hooking up one computer at a time to the internet alright and if you was to hook up more than one computer it's a little um off subject but you you was to hook up more than one computer you would have to pull a plug out because they clone the mac address and they look for mac address not just ip addresses all right but we'll get into that in further tutorials all right so you'll have that plugged into your first port now on your router you're going to plug the other end of your ethernet cable into this internet port which is here and you have it done like this okay so now you see it there and your modem and your router is both hooked up together these of course is not turned on now but they'll be hooked up together and then they will acknowledge each other alright now the next step after that is as far as software making them work together with your computer and so forth alright so that's it for this current tutorial uh, part two will be on the software part of things showing you how to configure both your modem and your router the modem will pretty much be configured already but we'll show you how to configure your router and your computer for it to all work together and then maybe multiple computers and even wireless alright so thanks for viewing another tutorial from infixitonline.com you can check us out on facebook and fix it online youtube of course and fix it online twitter and fix it online uh... google buzz something new and fix it online check out the website uh, we have more things coming you can also send through your tutorial requests certain things you would rather see on the website certain things you would like to see that's fun and so forth so thank you for watching another tutorial from Infix It Online till the next time peace